Ever wondered how to make the perfect black forest cake? It all starts with a rich and fluffy chocolate sponge cake. Picture this, a symphony of flavors and textures, with layers of moist chocolate sponge, luscious cherries and dreamy whipped cream. Sounds irresistible, doesn't it? To create this chocolatey wonder, we first need to set the stage with our sponge cake foundation. We begin by whisking together eggs and sugar. This isn't a race, we're aiming for a light and fluffy texture. Imagine a cloud in a bowl, that's the fluffiness we're going for. Next, it's time to add our stars, the dry ingredients. We fold in the flour and cocoa powder gently, ensuring that they're fully incorporated into our egg and sugar mixture. The cocoa powder is the secret behind that intense chocolate flavor that makes our sponge cake layers so irresistible. Once our dry ingredients are well combined, we have our batter. It's a velvety, chocolatey mixture that's just begging to be baked into our sponge cake layers. But before we get to the baking, we need to divide our batter evenly among our cake pans. This is an essential step, as it ensures each layer of our cake will be the same thickness. So, take your time, measure carefully, and distribute that batter. And with that, we're ready to bake. Into the oven go our cake pans, where the magic really begins. We wait patiently as our batter transforms into springy chocolate sponge cake layers. Just imagine that aroma filling your kitchen, the rich scent of chocolate wafting through the air. It's almost as good as eating the cake itself, almost. With our batter ready and divided evenly among the cake pans, we're all set to bake our sponge cake layers to perfection. Stay tuned for the next step where we'll be adding the cherry on top. Until then, let the baking begin. While our cake layers are baking, we turn our attention to the star of the show, the cherry filling. As our chocolate sponge cake layers are filling our kitchen with an intoxicating aroma, it's time to turn our attention to the cherries. These little red gems are not just a garnish but the beating heart of our black forest cake. Preparing the cherry filling is quite straightforward, yet it brings a burst of flavor that truly sets this cake apart. We start with fresh cherries, pitted and ready to go. Quality is key here, so always try to use the freshest cherries you can find. We'll take our pitted cherries and combine them in a saucepan with sugar. This is where we start to build that sweet, tangy flavor that will complement our rich chocolate cake so beautifully. Now, for an extra layer of complexity and depth, we're going to add a splash of cherry liqueur. This step is optional, but highly recommended if you want to stay true to the traditional Black Forest cake recipe. Next, we'll bring our cherry mixture to a simmer, allowing the cherries to soften and the flavors to meld together. This process will also help to reduce the liquid, creating a syrupy consistency that's just perfect for layering in our cake. As we stir our simmering cherries, we can't help but marvel at the vibrant color and rich aroma. This cherry filling is truly a feast for the senses, and we're just getting started. Finally, after about 10 to 15 minutes of simmering, our cherries will have transformed into a luscious filling, ready to play its part in our decadent dessert. This cherry filling is not just a component of the cake, it's the soul of our Black Forest cake, bringing that perfect balance of sweetness and tautness. With our cherries now soft and syrupy, we have a luscious cherry filling that's ready to elevate our cake. This cherry filling is the cherry on top of our Black Forest cake, a sweet and tangy surprise that will make every bite an unforgettable experience. So let's move on to the next phase of our cake journey. As our cake layers cool, the excitement builds. It's time to assemble our Black Forest cake. This moment is where the magic truly begins. Our chocolate sponges have cooled to the perfect temperature and they're just begging to be dressed up in their decadent attire. But before we start, let's take a moment to appreciate this beautiful canvas we've created. The rich cocoa aroma wafting from these sponges is enough to make anyone's mouth water. Let's start this assembly process. We'll begin by placing our first chocolate sponge layer on a serving platter. It's like laying the foundation for a delicious masterpiece. Now we're going to generously spoon over our cherry filling. These simmered cherries are not just a filling. They're bursts of tangy sweetness that perfectly balance the richness of our chocolate layers. Next, we'll add a cloud of whipped cream. Light, airy, and slightly sweet. This cream will act as a delightful contrast to our dense chocolate cake and tangy cherry filling. It's like a fluffy cloud cushioning between the layers of our cake. We'll repeat this layering process with all our cake layers, chocolate sponge, cherry filling, and whipped cream, until we've stacked them all. Each layer adds a new dimension of flavor and texture, creating a symphony of chocolatey, tangy, and creamy notes that will have your taste buds dancing with delight. And it's not just about the taste. As we stack these layers, our Black Forest cake starts to take shape, 
rising tall and proud. It's a sight to behold, a testament to the effort and love we've poured into creating it. Each layer is a chapter in the story of this cake, and as we add each one, we're that much closer to the grand finale. With our cake layers stacked and frosted, we're one step closer to the grand finale. Now our cake stands tall, layered with delight, and it's almost time for the final touch. But that's a story for the next scene. Until then, let's admire this beautiful tower of chocolate, cherry, and cream we've built. A black forest cake is not complete without its signature garnishes. It's like the final brush stroke on a masterpiece painting, or the last note of a symphony. It's what pulls everything together and makes it whole. We'll start with our whipped cream, light as a cloud and just as dreamy. We're going to generously frost our cake with this heavenly concoction, spreading it evenly across each layer and around the sides. This gives our cake a pristine, snowy finish, and adds a contrasting lightness to our dense, chocolatey sponge. Now for the piece de resistance, the chocolate shavings. We'll take a block of good quality dark chocolate and gently shave off thin curls using a vegetable peeler. Then we'll scatter these lustrous curls all over the cake, letting them tumble and fall where they may. Not only do these chocolate shavings add an extra layer of chocolatey goodness, but they also give our cake a rustic, woodsy charm reminiscent of the Black Forest region in Germany where this cake originated. And of course, what would a Black Forest cake be without its crowning glory? The cherries. We'll take our juicy, syrupy cherries and delicately arrange them on top of our cake. Some might sink into the whipped cream, while others rest on top. It's a delightful game of hide-and-seek. And there it is, our cake. Now a true Black Forest cake, adorned with its signature garnishes. But we're not done just yet. For the final touch, we'll sprinkle a dusting of powdered sugar over our cake. It's like the first snowfall of the season, gently blanketing the landscape, adding a touch of whimsy and magic. And with that, our black forest cake is fully dressed and looking spectacular. It's a sight to behold, isn't it? Rich, indulgent, and absolutely irresistible. I can't wait for you to try this at home and experience the joy of making and eating this classic decadent dessert. Remember, the art of dessert is all about savoring each step of the journey from the first mix to the final garnish. So go ahead, indulge in the process and create your own masterpiece. With anticipation at an all-time high, it's finally time to reveal our masterpiece. The moment we've all been waiting for has arrived. The culmination of our efforts, the climax of our culinary journey, the piece de resistance, our black forest cake. Imagine, if you will, the first cut into this divine creation. The blade of the knife glides through the layers with ease, each one yielding to its touch. The first slice is lifted, revealing the strata of our decadent dessert. The rich, moist chocolate sponge cake, the sweet and tart cherry filling, and the fluffy, cloud-like whipped cream, all stacked in harmonious layers. The slice is then carefully placed onto a plate. A closer look at the cross-section of this slice tells a story of love, patience, and skill. It's a tale of how simple ingredients, when combined with care and passion, can transform into something truly extraordinary. Let's take a moment to appreciate the flavors that come together in this exquisite dessert. The deep, robust notes of the chocolate sponge cake provide a perfect counterpoint to the fresh, vibrant flavors of the cherry filling. The whipped cream, light and airy, adds a touch of indulgence, tying everything together in a beautiful symphony of taste and texture. As you take a bite, the cake practically melts in your mouth, leaving behind a trail of chocolatey cherry bliss. Each mouthful is a celebration, a decadent dance of flavors that leaves you craving for more. It's a cake that begs to be savored, to be enjoyed slowly, bite by delightful bite. And there you have it, folks, our Black Forest cake, a testament to the art of dessert making, a dessert that's as pleasing to the eye as it is to the palate, a dessert that's worthy of any celebration, or just an ordinary day that calls for an extraordinary treat. With our black forest cake now ready to be devoured, we conclude our delicious journey. Until next time, happy baking!